Hey guys, so I saw two tag videos on the internet today um, in my subscriptions feed and I know that you guys would have seen um, one already up on the channel, um, How Disciplined Are You When It Comes to Reborns, um, and I am now answering the Is There a Right Number of Reborns to Have tag, and um, I'm sh not sure who made this, I saw it on Bundles of Joy 83's channel, um, my dear friend Leslie, um, I quite like her answers to the tag, so I thought that I would also join in today. And um, if you didn't watch the first video, hello and welcome to the new crib. Um, I will be doing a nursery tour sometime soon. Um, I still have a few things that I need to sort out before I unveil it to you all. <laughs> um, but yes, so um, let's get cracking with this question. So when I very first started being a reborn collector or a reborn mummy, um, I thought the answer for this was two. I didn't think that you need to have any more than one boy, one girl. And I remember watching some YouTube channels, and I'm not going to name names, but um, they'd have quite a large collection and think, wow, you know, they must be rich or they must, um, you know, how do they divide their time between their babies and they must collect a lot of dust. So, um... That was my envision of it because in that stage I used to spend all day whenever I was free with my reborns. I used to do a lot of changing of them and a lot of playing with them and you name it, I did it with them. So um, for me, two seemed like the right answer. But as I became a reborn artist, I quickly discovered that one, it is addicting to make reborns for yourself and two, there are too many kits out there that are gorgeous. So, um, I went around thinking the new answer was four to five. And to be honest with you right now, I think five is actually a pretty good number. So, um, as you can see, I have five and I still feel overwhelmed by that. But, um... I think I feel more overwhelmed because the actual number is increasing rather than staying the same in this um, little reborn family of mine. So I think that's the reason why I'm starting to um, find the number a little bit scary. But um, I definitely think having a smaller collection is a lot easier to maintain. It's a lot easier to um, divide your time between if you are that kind of person. Like, honestly, I think anyone who can stay under three, you are amazing. <laughs> um, because I certainly wish I could, but um, the nature of the business is that I see a lot of kits every single day um, on the internet when um, new artists, uh, sorry, sculpt artists release them, or um, you know they come across my feed in some way or another, and therefore feel the need to fall in love with every single one of them. Um, so unfortunately for me, being a reborn artist means that I have a lot more access to creating babies for myself and I now know that those people who have the large collections that I used to see have them because they have a sheer love for these reborns and also are addicted to buying them like I am. So I mean I think we all need to give ourselves a little bit of um, leeway and understand that this is a hobby that is addicting and um, comforting in its own way and each baby that we do bring in has some sort of meaning to us. So um, my collection, as you can see, like I said, I've got five. I will have six by Saturday because um, Suhi will be created on Saturday. And then I actually have another one in the cupboard, <laughs> um, my Saskia kit. And I am also ordering another kit as well. Ideally, I actually want to have um, a bigger boy as well. See how, um, you know, you start to plan these things out. Sorry, that was my hand, guys. Um, you start to plan out what you want your collection to look at, look like, sorry, but you don't actually realize when you plan that it looks way bigger in person. So, I mean, in this crib right now, there are babies that could possibly be sold, but like Leslie said in her video, you know, it's really hard to do that, especially if you've had them for some time. Um, and you've noticed probably if you followed my story that it's a lot easier for me to give my babies up to my mum who now has 
10, believe it or not, 10 Reborns, um, or will when she's finished. Um, and uh, it's a lot easier for me to give them to her um, because I know they're still in the house. Or my younger sister has a couple of my very old Reborns. Um, and again, um, it's just because they're in the house still, I can go and see them. Amelia is the only one that has left my collection um, still in my family, but I never see. So um, she is with my aunt, and I don't go to my aunt's house very often. And when I do, I kind of feel rude going into her room all the time, but she allows me to do that and see Amelia now and then. But um, yeah, definitely... I find it a lot easier to give them away but then you think of the cost that you've put into these rebonds and then it's easier to put them up for sale. So I have successfully sold Arlo in the past for my collection um, and that's mainly because I didn't have him very long and I feel like um, he went to the most amazing person in the world. I've also sold Ryder and he has gone to one of the best people again in this world so um, they definitely end up in special places if they leave this this um, well this crab so um, yeah the right answer to this question is it depends on you I think um, definitely your collection if it grows can be overwhelming and you just have to understand that you're not going to be able to um, divvy up your time equally to them especially if you start to have favorites which I said in my last video I do I love Bailey I love Maggie and I love Leo and I've had bonding issues with Charlie for some time now um, and I've had bonding issues with Georgia for a little bit now so it's it's not easy having a large collection when you start to have favorites but definitely um, I think that the right answer is in your decisions, whether or not you want to sell them, keep them, give them away to family or friends, um, you know, that's your decision and that's the right number for you. So even if you feel overwhelmed by what you've got, to accept that or make some changes to them because you're always going to find new kits and you're always going to fall in love with new kits like I do. So um, I hope that this has been an easy enough answer and I'm sorry the lighting's gone it is probably like close to 4 30 or 5 now and um, like I said in my weekly wrap up video we are now in winter so time is of the essence during the day and um, we lose light about this time every day so um, and generally at this time of the day I'm at my ponies but today I'm not feeling very well so I thought that I would share a couple of videos with you all instead. Thank you so much for watching this and do have a go at the tags if you enjoy making videos or want to answer them. If you don't make videos, I love to read your comments. Every comment I try to answer as quickly as I can or apologize when I can't, um, but I do read them and um, I'd love to hear your answers below. Um, what do you think is the right number of Reborns? And um, how many have you got if you are collecting Reborns? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.